per hour. Oh, I can't wait, bro. Let's freaking go, dude. Um, the rankings came out yesterday. I'm sorry that I did not make a video on that. But, bro, oh my god. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry of happiness, dude. Y'all have... Y'all don't understand how upset, how heartbroken, how devastated I was when all of our conference tournaments got cut short, um, when all when March Madness got canceled. I was just... Uh, you don't understand how much college basketball means to me. Most people who like college basketball mainly because it's just March Madness. You don't understand. You gotta follow college basketball every year closely because it's more than just March Madness. There's so many other cool things before even March. Like, it's so special, man. Y'all gotta. It's just I love college basketball so much. Like, college football is probably my second favorite, but college basketball, man, there's just something so special about it with me. So, um, the ACC schedule came out today. We are 15 days away from college basketball. We are also 15 days away from Tar Heel basketball. So, um, as you can tell, <coughs> excuse me, we got all, we got um, our conference play games. We know... Each team knows what their non-conference games will be, or at least most team knows what their non-conference games are going to be. Um, so, yeah, but we scroll down here. We got to start off our ACC play this season. It'll be on Saturday, December 12th, between Syracuse and Boston College. Honestly, I don't know how that game's going to go. More than likely, Syracuse will win. Um, we'll see, though, but, man, y'all don't understand how excited I am. Um... We don't start ACC play till um, December 22nd, as y'all can tell right here. We will be playing NC State. That's going to be a little odd to see us play them so early in the year. Um, but, yeah, let's just scroll through. Um, yeah, um, but um, feel free to take a look at that. Um, while you can, and then, um, so yeah, I've looked, at, I've looked at this a little bit, not much, mainly, because I want to see, like, I don't want to get too spoiled with, like, with me play, you know, um, well, at the time, yeah, I know who we play now, and when, where, why, and how, but, like, before, um, we, I didn't even know, um, so, yeah, that's pretty cool. But yeah, feel free to check out this, um, for sure. Um, I guess we can look at the rankings quickly. Um, one Gonzaga, two Baylor, three Villanova, four Virginia, five Iowa. Honestly, I would, honestly, you're going to be shocked at this, but I think Kansas should be ahead of Iowa. I think Iowa should at least be six or seven, not five. I think Kansas should be put at number five, but that's just me. Um... But other than that, it's, it's a good top five overall. I mean, Virginia, they're going to be really good this year. Villanova will be good. Baylor's going to be good. Um, Illinois, watch out from them. I, I'm really excited to see what Illinois is going to do. I am really am. They better not disappoint me. Um, Duke, number nine. I think they need to be ranked a little higher. But, yeah, Kentucky, 10. I can, I can understand that. Creighton, 11. 12, Tennessee, 13, Michigan State, 14, Texas Tech, 15, West Virginia, 16. That's an okay ranking. Maybe we should be ranked a little higher, but other than that, we're, it's not a terrible ranking to start off the year. And, and then again, preseason ranking don't matter whatsoever. 17, Houston, 18, Arizona State, 19, Texas, 20, Oregon, 21, Excuse me, 21, Florida State, 22, UCLA, 23, Ohio State, 24, Rutgers. I, I, I'm interested to see what they can do. And then 25, Michigan. I love how UNC Greensboro has, like, no, legit, like, UNC Greensboro. Hold on. Excuse me. You, they have one vote. <laughs> Feels so good. Um, yeah, but that's the rankings. Um. Ooh, bracketology. I, I I don't think I've very... I don't, I don't even know the last time they made a new one. October 7th, so yeah, it's been a month since they've done one of these. Um, 
Yeah, but there's the Division One schedule. Um, Wednesday, November 25th, the start of the um, college basketball season. Again, I don't know what the first game is of college basketball because it's always like to be determined, even though we got times down here. It looks like the first game of the year is going to be between East Tennessee State and whatever. I guess that will be the start of the season. Um, again, I've never heard of these. I've never heard of them. Um, I've never heard of them. I think I've heard of them, but I could be wrong. Um, but I, I don't even care at this point. I'm not taking any game for granted. So I'll watch this game if that's the start of the college basketball season, buddy. Um, we get okay. We got decent games though. Um, going on that day. Um, of course, Carolina's playing that day. But no, let's see. I'm trying to find a game that really is going to be interesting to me. Uh, Maryland Old Dominion could be decent. I I I think that Old Dominion could beat them. It, it honestly would not surprise me if Old Dominion won that game, believe it or not. Um, I'm trying to find a game that wouldn't be bad. Um, Texas A&M, West Virginia. That won't be bad, to be honest. Uh, that might not be a bad game. Uh, St. Mary's and Memphis could be a decent game. Who knows? Boston College and Villanova. Wee! Uh, yeah, Villanova win pretty easily, I think. Baylor and Arizona State could be decent. Who knows? But, yeah, I'm just, I'm so freaking excited, dude. Y'all don't understand. I'm not trying to be biased or delusional or selfish or anything, but I, I, I'm one of the biggest college basketball fans out there. I, I really am. I, I love it so much, dude. Like, literally, I'll watch any game. Sort of like college football, you know what I mean? I'll watch any game. I don't care. Like, I, I love college basketball, dude. It's, it's so much fun. Um, I'm just, I'm so excited. Kansas and Kentucky. Oh, my God. I forgot about that. That is going to be so much fun. Dude, we have two great games on to start off December. Kansas and Kentucky and Michigan State, dude. That has to be one of the best ways. No. One, yeah, literally, if not the best, like, one of the best, if not the best way to start off your December. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, I'm so excited. Can uh, listen, I'm enjoying football, and I, I, I am, I, I am, but, golly, I can't wait, man. I, you don't, man, when March Madness got canceled, I was so heartbroken. And we weren't even going to make the tournament. I don't, okay, I care that we were going to miss it, but I really just wanted to watch it, dude. And it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. Um, Michigan and NC State. I will say... When we do Big Ten ACC challenges, again, I don't root for NC State. I don't root for Duke. I don't, okay? But if they do win, I am a little happy mainly because I want us to show that we are a better conference in the Big Ten. You know what I mean? And I want us to win the challenge. Um, and even if Florida State could be decent, who knows? Michigan State, Virginia is going to be fun to watch. Michigan State, get ready for that slow, terrible, not terrible, but a slow, boring offense. I can't stand their offense. I, I I hate Virginia. I hate Virginia, but I do have to root for them in the ACC. I got to root for most ACC teams in Big Ten ACC Challenge, just because. But other than that, no, I still root. I still don't root for Virginia. Other teams I hate in the ACC, Duke. I don't. I never root for them. Same goes for U State. Unless you're playing Duke in basketball, then I might have to root for State when it comes to basketball and football. Obviously, I root for Duke. But anyways, uh, besides the point. I would never root for Miami. I would not root for Miami unless Big Ten ACC Challenge. But yeah, uh, Wisconsin Louisville could be interesting. Um, this is on December 9th. Saturday, December twelfth. Uh, Notre Dame, Kentucky. That could be fun to watch. Cincinnati, Tennessee. We got Elon. Wee. Um, yeah, let's see. I'm just skipping around through dates. Um, Houston, Alabama, Kansas State, Baylor, Virginia, Villanova. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Oh, I can't wait. Gonzaga and Iowa. Oh, oh, North Carolina, Ohio State. You know, I can't wait. 
Bruh, I, I know it looks like I'm, not, I'm looking really... You're Some of you are going to call me autistic, and I, I don't care. With the way I'm acting, I don't care, dude. I don't care. I can't freaking wait, dude. Oh. I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. Okay, let's go to... Alright, I am here on Tar Heel Times now. Uh, we're going to look at the schedule. You know what? I, I love using this website. I love Tar Heel Times. This is a great website. This is where I get most of my news from when it comes to... Oh, really? I didn't know that? The women's team picked to finish fifth in the preseason. Okay, I see you. Okay. We'll see if that happens. I would love to finish fifth in the conference, dude. Listen. I Honestly. I would love to. Um, Has the women's basketball schedule came out? Hold on. I want to just check. No, not yet. I don't, I don't even know if the women's teams are having basketball. I think they are, but who knows. But yeah, um, I think I'm going to go to a different website, though, because uh, I don't want to confuse y'all or anything. Um, but go... Oh, really? Yeah, thank you. I do not... I don't know what... There we go, better. Um, I love that website. I'm going to use this better since it shows all the logos and everything. Right, let me see if it... Hold on, let me check the women's basketball schedule. I just want to see if it works on here instead. Oh, no. I guess they've not came out. Alright, hold on. Okay, I don't even know what's going on with them, but I'm glad we won the championship. Okay, now let's get to the schedule. Okay. Start off the season, we're playing College of Charleston on November 5th, 25th, excuse me, Wednesday. Um, oh, I can't wait, man. I can't wait. Um, then we have, well... The Mount, well, Maui Invitational, where they're playing in Asheville now. Um, we'll be playing UNLV in that game. Then we have Alabama or Stanford, the winner of them. Well, depending if we win that. We should beat UNLV, but we'll see. Either way, we'll be playing one of these two teams next. And then TBA, I don't even know. Like, Hold on. I want. I just want to check. You idiot! I don't. Know, why does it? Okay, I'm sorry. Maui Invitational 2020. Oh really? You're gonna do this to me? You know what? I hate you so much. Um. Whee! I don't care. Where's the bracket? I need a bracket. Wait, why are you doing this? Okay, whatever. TBA, whoever. I, I don't remember the freaking bracket. Oh, there. Okay. Is this it? Yeah, this is this year's games. I'm sorry if y'all can't read this. Um, That's terrible. I can't read that. I did see something where it's like, it said revealed. Okay, here it is. Here it is. So, there's Texas. Okay, Davidson, where there's UNLV. So, um, if we win, we will be playing either Texas, Davidson, Indiana, or Providence. More than likely, it's going to be Indiana or Texas um, in that game. Um... And so yeah, either way, after we play either Stanford or Alabama, we'll be playing one of those four teams. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm just so excited, dude. So, yeah, but that's, yeah, the TBA, who knows, but we'll see. December 8th, we got Iowa in our Big Ten ACC Challenge. Now, I'm a little nervous because I will say, overall, Iowa is going to be a good team. Now, I don't... I, I, I will say Iowa is going to be a great team. Um, I'm excited to see what they can do. They may disappoint. Who knows? We'll see. Um, but, yeah, that's going to be fun. I'm excited. Elon, Ohio State, revenge. Um, I, I want to get revenge on them so much. I'm so happy we're playing them. I hope we get the revenge.
they Ohio State fans that bug me, bug me, bug me. Like you beat an injured Tar Heel team, quit. Like with the like, yes, you wouldn't beat us. Congrats, but overall, last year we were the better team. We are we were a better team. You can't tell me that we had a better team than I. You you have you you gotta be real. We had a better team than Ohio State, but we were just so freaking injured, dude. Like, I mean, shoot, Armando Baycott was going in that game. That was his first team game back after that one injury he had. So, literally just came back from an injury. And I think he got hurt again in that game, dude. Like, I don't even know if, I don't think Cole played. Like, we were injured. Like, it's nothing compared to, like, like you know, what happened to Duke when they lost Zion. No, we literally lost half of our team. Like, half our team got injured, dude. Who shoot them whole team could have for crying out loud. But yeah, NC State we're starting off with our um ACC play. Then again, time there's some dates that we don't have set yet, but Oh my goodness. I want revenge on Durs Georgia Tech. I want the revenge on um the main teams I wanna get revenge on is Duke, Virginia, and I'm trying to think. What's the other team that beat us? Almost at the buzzer. Oh yeah, Notre Dame. Like I, I, I don't hate Notre Dame, but I really want to get some revenge on them. Honestly. Like yeah, shout out to you, Colin McNerdy though. Great Notre Dame fan. Great Notre Dame fan. But yeah, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I want the revenge. But then yes, I want revenge on Syracuse. I had to watch us get absolutely abused by Syracuse in the ACC tournament, so I want revenge on that. Uh, Miami, uh, we we will we beat them with the bejesus out of them last year. This Clemson, I want revenge on them. Trust me. And hey, we're at home. Good. So now I can at least watch us. Hopefully, get revenge at home. Good. Um, I don't care how we beat them. I just want to beat them. At Florida State, I would like to get revenge on them. Um, Allen against Wake Forest, I will say I do want revenge too. Um, even though, like, you know, I, 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 can't, I want revenge on them as well. But, yeah, again, like I said, nothing compared to Duke and Virginia and all that. But, yeah, at Florida State, at home against Wake Forest, and at home, wait, hold on. At NC State, yeah, okay. Then at home against NC State. At Pitt, I definitely want a little bit of revenge on them. And then there's Notre Dame revenge. Uh, Clemson again. Um, if we lose that one home game, then I guess we have another chance for revenge. At Duke, I want revenge on them so bad. You know what? It I don't. It's not the sweep. It is not the sweep. The buzzer beater is just something that is haunting me still to this day. And I will never get over that loss till we beat them, dude. And honestly, I would not feel one bad bit for them. Except for the good sport Duke fans, like Duke Fan for Life and CBT and all that. That I would them I would feel bad for for the rest of y'all idiots. I can't. Oh, I would feel so good. Y'all have not left me alone because of that. But then again, I understand. I mean, we, let, I'll be real. We couldn't make a dang free throw. Uh, Miami at home. Okay. There's our chance for revenge. Virginia, let's go out there. We are on a huge losing streak to Virginia. I don't, I don't, okay. We are on a huge, uh, not, uh, not a huge losing, losing streak to Virginia overall. No, we are a huge, lo we have a huge losing streak to them on the road. Like, I, I don't remember the last time we beat them on the road. Hold on. Um, Let's see. Go back to last year. Um, they, we lost them on the road. What was it like? Yeah, fifty six to forty seven. In twenty eighteen, nineteen. Wait, I don't think we played them on the road. No, we didn't. We played them at home. I forgot. Um, seventeen, eighteen. We played them on the road. Couldn't beat them. Did we beat them twenty fifteen, sixteen? Nope, we lost. We lost them on the road. Um, 12, 16, 17, we beat them. We were at home, though.
Okay, um, we're all the way down to 2014-15. Let's see. At Virginia, lost to the... Oh, at home, my bad. Yeah, I'm looking. I'm looking right now. Okay, so we never played them on the road that year. Oh, God, we are all the way back. Dude, at Virginia, we lost to them. When was the last time we meet them on the road? Oh, my God. When was the last time we meet these weirdos on the road? Oh, my God, there it is. The last time we meet them on the road was Saturday, February 25th, 2012. That's sad. We got to end that streak and get the revenge. Ugh. Um, Virginia Tech, we got our revenge for, against them in the ACC tournament last year. I was at that game. Um, we play them at home. Okay, Louisville. I want some revenge on them a little bit. Not going to lie. Even though they were a decent team last year. At Boston College, want revenge. Florida State, there we go again. If we don't get our revenge on the road, we have a chance at home. Syracuse on the road. If we don't get our win in the first one, we have a chance one more time on the road. Um, and then if we don't win our first game against Duke, we have one last chance in this game. Um, yeah, and then we got the ACC tournament. It'll be um, starting March 9th, and it'll go all the way until March 13th. Um, and we have um, Selection Sunday and March 14th, and then, then uh, can't remember when the NCAA tournament. Um, whatever. And, and, and uh, I, it starts like 16th, 17th. I can't remember when that tournament starts, but I, either way, man, I'm so freaking excited. Oh, I can't wait, man. And what's cool is like, this is going to feel like a normal college basketball season. Yes, we have less games, but we still have our Big Ten ACC challenge. We have the other ones like the Big 12, Big East challenge. And those other challenges we have. We still have these non-con games. We have these invitational or these classic tournaments we always have at the beginning of the year. Um, we have the non-con games. We always have that CBS Sports Classic. So either way, we have those non-con games still is what I'm saying. And then we have our all of our conference games. And we still have the tournaments, conference tournaments, March Madness. So this is going to still feel like a normal season. You know what I mean? Um... Again, the only thing I won't feel normal is two things. Um, less fans or no fans and um, games being canceled or postponed. And that's going to happen for sure. Um, yeah, but other than that, man, I I'm so excited, dude. Y'all don't understand. Oh, my God. Oh, man, there's so many games. I can't freaking wait, dude. I don't. Oh, my God. God. Oh, dude. Um. I'm just so excited. Oh, my goodness. I'm excited though. I'm excited. Can't wait, man. Can't wait. I'm so hyped. Um. Again, uh, I, I'm just so pumped, man. I, I'm speechless. I'm so excited. But um, yeah. Anyways, that's gonna be it for today's video. <sighs> I'm so I'm getting chills just looking at this dude. I can't wait.
dude. Okay. That's gonna do it, though. Um. Uh, there we go. Um, that's gonna do it. Thanks for watching. Um, tell me, um, if y'all are excited, how excited are y'all on a scale of 1 to 10? How excited am I? Uh, it's, it's not even on a, you can't give me a scale of 1 to 10. You have to give me a scan of one quadruplets or whatever, dude. Like, I am so freaking excited. Oh my god. Like, I, and I know another couple, a couple of other huge college basketball fans like Quincy Bell Sports. Me and him are so hyped up, dude. Um, me and him, but Quincy and I are by far probably two of the biggest um, college basketball fans here on YouTube, honestly. Like, honestly, we're so, me, like, him and I, we were so freaking devastated when the tournament got canceled, man. I definitely know he's really excited like I am. Um, tell me if y'all are excited. Uh, haven't heard much lately from y'all for when it comes to basketball. Well, also another huge basketball fan that I know is Duke fan for life. Uh, he, I know he's excited as well. Um, yeah, I'm just so hyped, man. Like, again, yes, we have football going on and stuff. And I'll still watch some college football, okay? Don't trust me. I'll still make my Carolina football videos and everything. That's all going to happen, okay? But I'm so excited, man. I'm so excited. But that's going to head out. I'm going to head out. Thanks for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. And peace out. And ladies and gentlemen, 15 days away from the season. Tomorrow we're two weeks away. I can't wait, man. I can't wait. Peace out and go Heels. God, I'm so hyped, dude.